Hi guys, it's Jazzy Rose and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this winged neutral eye look. So if you guys are interested, please continue watching. First I'm going to go in with scotch tape. I'm going to break off about an inch and I'm going to place it on the back of my hand. This is going to make all the oils from the back of my hand go into the scotch tape. So when I rip the scotch tape off my face, I'm not ripping out underneath my eye. Also, make sure that the tape is even, guys, because it's going to help give you that nice sharp edge and also that perfect wing. Then I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to place it on top of my eyelids and then blend it out with my damp beauty blender. Then I'm going to go with my Clay Clay palette from Tarte and I'm going to go in with the color Solstice and I'm going to just place this over the concealer. This is going to set everything. Then I'm going to go in with the color Stone and I'm going to place this right into my crease. Same thing on the other eye. Then I'm going to go in with the color Journey and I'm going to place this right over Stone just to make sure that if there's any sharp edges that it's just going to blend everything out and make everything look seamlessly. Then I'm going to go back in with my concealer and I'm just going to clean the top of my eyelids. Then I'm going to go in with the color Sand and I'm just going to place this right on top of my eyelids. Then I'm going to just make sure that everything is blended out seamlessly and that there aren't any harsh lines. If you have to go back in with your eyeshadow, feel free to do so. Now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. I don't remember the name of it guys. I will leave everything in the description box below, I promise. And the tape is going to help give you that nice sharp edge. So you can get real messy with this. This is what I do, especially if you have really round eyes. And just take your time, guys. It's very difficult to do a wing. I hate doing a wing. This is why you will always see me using tape. And like I said, just take your time. Now you guys can rip that tape out from under your eye. Please be careful. And just fix up anything that you feel needs to be fixed. And now I'm going to go in with the color smoke. I'm going to start doing my eyebrows. You can use this palette for anything, guys. It's so amazing. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. Now for my face, I'm going to go with my strobing liquid from Maybelline. This is in the color light. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face. For my foundation, this is from Makeup Forever Ultra HD in color Y22. And I'm just going to place some all over my face. And then blend it out with my damp beauty blender. Then for my concealer, I'm going to go in with my shade tape from Tarte. This is in the color light. And I'm just going to place it under my eyes, above my lip, my nose, my forehead. You guys know the deal. And I'm just going to blend it out with my damp beauty blender. Then for my contour, I'm going to go back in with my Clay Clay Palette from Tarte, and I'm going to go in with the color Teriyaka and Desert. I'm going to mix both of them, and I'm just going to do my contour. I told you guys this palette, you could use it for anything.
Now to set my concealer, I'm going to use my Laurier Mercy powder, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually re-damp my beauty blender and just take a little bit of powder and just pat it onto my face. I can't really bake because I have really dry skin, and I find this, when you do this, it gives you the same effect as baking, and it doesn't dry your skin out as much, and it doesn't make it look so cakey. So try it, guys. It works for me. Then I'm going to just take a bronzing brush and I'm just going to blend everything all together just to make sure everything looks seamless. I'm going to go back in with the color stone and I'm going to place it right underneath my lash line. Then for my lashes, these are my lashes from Eyler. I do not know what kind they are. I'll leave them in the description box, guys. I'm so sorry. But I'm just going to apply my falsies on. Now for my mascara, I'm going to go in with Dior Show from Dior, and I'm just going to do my bottom lashes. If you guys are interested on how I get my bottom lashes the way I do, I will leave everything in the description box with a link because I do have a video on it. For my lips, I'm going to be going in with my Pro Liquid Lipstick from Lorac. This is in the color Pink Plum. And I'm just going to apply it to my lips. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.